Hello Fanatics, I'm back, yes guys, I'm back with a true crime story time, yay, I know a lot of you have been messaging me saying, oh I miss your true crime, or I'm chatting with my friends and they go, I really do miss your true crime, so here I am with a true crime now this secret is no longer um a secret uh we have released it it is a little growth by the amazing travis johnson aka travis gets creative he is my newest artist to join my artist family and yeah how amazing how amazing But yeah, I'm loving this canvas. This was my secret canvas for a long time that I was working on behind the scenes. And now you see why I couldn't give you any hints or anything like that. But yeah, so I I don't really know how to make my comeback, so to speak, um, for my true crime. So I went on... Amazon and (laughs) I was kind of looking up true crime uh I bought myself a t-shirt true crime queen uh it's purely for motivational tools and I'm gonna wear it when I talk about my true crime and uh, I also bought a book uh the book is called the big book of serial killers um I've got some more on the way um yeah i'm I'm in this guys um I thought it might be a bit more fun you know uh i I want to cover cases that maybe you haven't heard of uh, as as well as um you know the ted bundys and and everything else but i I do like um finding unknown cases or cases that I haven't heard covered by um other youtubers maybe. Uh, because, you know, I obviously follow Emma Kenny and uh, Bailey Sarian. Bailey is awesome. I love Bailey. She's my number one. Uh, yeah, so I, I just opened the page at random and here we are. So, of course, this book is uh, depraved, sick, horrible douchebags. It's what it is. It's full of douchebags. And uh, I thought that's how we could kickstart. So uh, I've opened the page at Paul John Knowles. So I'll find an image of him and put him on screen. So that you can all put a face to the name. And um, yeah, let's, let's get into this. So he was born on the 14th of April in 1946. He is known as the Casanova Killer... Um, he also went by various aliases. Um, number of victims is between 18 and 35. That's usually a ballpark figure. It's usually plus some. Uh, yeah, he, he killed all those people from July to November of 1974. So he, he was obviously arrested in 1974 because it stopped. So, let's get into, I like to start with the background, okay? So, we get into the background first, and, um, yeah, Paul John Knowles. He had a difficult start in life, spending most of his childhood in foster care or reformeries. His father had been convicted of a fairly minor crime, but gave his son up anyway. That's nice. You know, family bonding. Knowles was 19 years old when he was first arrested and incarcerated for criminal activity. From then onwards, he was in and out of prison for numerous crimes until things took a change for the better. In 1974, Knowles had been corresponding with a woman in San Francisco, Angela 
Kovic. At one point, she travelled to Florida to visit Knowles in prison. And he immediately proposed marriage to her. And she accepted and worked hard to get him released from prison using her own finances to pay for legal counsel. As soon as Knowles was released, he flew to San Francisco to be with Angela. However, she had received a warning from a psychic that a dangerous man was entering her life. So she ended the engagement and the relationship. Can I just point out the obvious here? You're probably all laughing. You probably all heard it at the same time I did. She flew to Florida to visit him in prison. But then a psychic told her that a dangerous man... I mean, they don't put the nice guys in prison, do they? It's not like a a mall where you can go looking for a husband and that's where they keep all the nice people. Jeez Louise... Noel suffered the rejection terribly. I should imagine he was a bit offended. A dangerous man. And he returned to Jacksonville, Florida. I say that with glee because uh, AEW was born in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Anyway, he claimed that night the relationship ended. He killed three people in San Francisco. Not long after his return to Florida, Knowles was involved in a bar fight and was arrested for stabbing a bartender. On July the 26th, he picked the lock on his cell and made his escape. Murders On the night he escaped from prison, Knowles attacked his first victim, Alice Curtis. She was 65 and was gagged and bound by Knowles after he broke into her home on July the 26th to rob her of any valuables and money. Although he didn't kill Alice outright, she did choke on her dentures and died. It is unknown whether Knowles was still there when it happened. He had stolen her car and... Realising the police would be looking for it, he decided to ditch it on a street. It was August the 1st, 1974. As he parked the car, he noticed sisters Lillian and Mylette Anderson, who were acquainted with his family. Worried they might identify him, he abducted both girls and strangled them to death before burying them in a swamp. Irma Jean Sanders disappeared in Georgia on August 1st, 1974, after running away from her home in Beaumont, Texas. She had been hitchhiking when Knowles abducted her. She remained unidentified until 2011. The following day, August the 2nd, Knowles killed Marjorie Howie in her apartment in Florida. It is unclear whether she had invited him in or he had forced his way in. He used a nylon stocking to strangle her. Then he stole her TV. In late August, Knowles forced his way into Kathy Sue Pierce's home in Georgia. She was strangled to death with a telephone cord, but her child was left unharmed. Then on September 3rd, Knowles came across William Bates in a bar in Ohio. They left the bar together and Bates's wife reported him missing the next day. His body was found in October, strangled and naked. Knowles drove to Nevada in the car he had stolen from Bates. He came across Emmett and Lois Johnson, 
on September the 18th. He shot them to death after tying them up. He stole their credit cards and used them for a while, but nobody suspected him as being the culprit until his confession after he was arrested. Charlene Hicks was stranded on the side of the road after her motorcycle broke down when she was abducted by Knowles. He assaulted her in in the criminal sense and then he used her pantyhose to strangle her. He dragged her body through a He dragged her body through a barbed wire fence and disposed of it. The body was discovered four days later on September 25th. On September 23rd, Knowles met Ann Dawson in Birmingham, Alabama. They travelled together for almost a week until Knowles murdered her on September 29th. Her body was thrown into the Mississippi River and it's never been found. The next murders occurred on October the 16th in Connecticut. Knowles broke into the home where Karen Wine and her daughter Dawn lived. He bound them, assaulted them in the criminal sense. Both were strangled with nylon stocking. Doris Hovey was shot and killed in her home in Woodford, Virginia on October the 18th. Knowles had used a rifle belonging to Hovey's husband, who wasn't home at the time. He wiped off his prints and left the rifle next to Doris's body. No robbery took place on this occasion. There was no known motive for this murder. I would have said opportunity, but... On November the 2nd, Knowles killed hitchhikers Edward Hilliard and Debbie Griffin. The body of Debbie has never been found. Knowles was still driving Bates' car when he met Carswell Carr in Georgia on November 6th. Carswell invited Knowles back to his house for drinks and was repaid for his kindness by being strangled. His young daughter was home at the time and Knowles strangled her to death as well. He did attempt to have um, a necrophilia. It's the terminology for that one. But he was unable to carry out the deed. Knowles had stolen another car on November 17th. It was recognised by trooper Charles Campbell as being a stolen vehicle. Trooper Campbell attempted to arrest Knowles, but Knowles managed to get hold of the officer's pistol. He then drove off in the patrol car with trooper Campbell as his hostage. Feeling cocky in the police car, he used the lights and siren to pull over James Meyer. He then had two hostages and they continued driving in James's car. So he's pulled James over and then transferred the police officer into his car and, and they're going for another ride. They drove to an area of woods in... Polizaki County in Georgia where Knowles handcuffed both men to a tree. He then shot them in the head at close range. Not long afterwards a police roadblock had been set up in Henry County, Georgia. Knowles attempted to drive through it but he lost control of the car and crashed into a tree. Firing at the officers chasing him, he took off on foot. 
despite being chased by numerous officers, police dogs, helicopters and other law enforcement agencies, Knowles managed to travel several miles from the main search area until he came across a civilian carrying a shotgun. Wow. So, Alice Curtis was 65. Lillian Anderson was 11. Milet Anderson was 7. So, those two... um, He noticed the two sisters, didn't he, when he ditched the car from the first robbery. And they are linked to... or acquainted to his family. They were just children. Irma Jean Saunders was 13. Marjorie Howie, 49. Uh, no age on Kathy. William Bates was 32. Uh, no ages on Emmett Johnson, Lois Johnson, Charlene Hicks, Ann Dawson, Karen Wine, Dawn Wine, the daughter, was 16. Doris Hovey was 53. Uh, Edward Hilliard, Debbie Griffin, Carswell Carr, Carswell's daughter was 15, Trooper Charles Campbell and James Meyer. Knowles was escorted to a house by the civilian, armed with a shotgun. Oh, I see. The civilian recognised what was going on and he was like, "Uh, you're coming with me. Okay, I thought somehow he was going to get the shotgun off him. Knowles escorted to a house by the civilian armed with a shotgun and the police were called. They arrived on the scene and arrested him. When he was being questioned by at the police station, he claimed he was responsible for committing 35 murders, but the investigation only linked him to 20. Wow. 20. Only 20. Mm. On December the 18th, 1974, Knowles was being transported to Henry County, Georgia, where he had claimed to have dumped a gun used in the murder of State Trooper Charles Campbell. He was accompanied by Sheriff Earl Lee and Agent Ronnie Angel of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. At some point in the journey, Knowles managed to grab Lee's gun, which discharged. And while the two men were struggling to gain control of the gun, Agent Angel shot Knowles three times in the chest. He died instantly. He was not going to stop, was he? He was not going to go to prison quietly or anything. What a despicable, disgusting scumbag. Um, Yeah. Wow. Um, It does make you wonder. Uh, I, I honestly think... I don't know if this is popular opinion or what, but... I honestly think that, I don't, I actually don't know. I I was going to say that murderers are made and not born, but I don't know, that's a debate for the comment section, I guess. Because, you know, he was in prison for whatever minor crime he committed, and this, this Alice Kovic obviously saw something in him and um yeah tried to get him free and um spent all her money on him and then a psychic said hey it's a bit of bad news that one oh oh okay okay um yeah i wonder if she had said oh no no he's a changed person uh, would they have gone on and have lived happily ever after because it seems that the um, rejection, well, the rejection is an excuse, in my opinion. Um, but it's kind of what, the trigger 
it was the trigger that set him off um, to kill in 20 people that he has been linked to. I dare say he was telling the truth. Uh, there's probably more out there. But, yeah. John... Paul John Knowles. A despicable human being. But there you go. True crime story time is back. I will do some more true crime and, um... Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh... Yeah, I, I I have missed my true crime. Um, yeah, I, I just went down the supernatural route and um, then I watched um, uh, two broke girls. They start up a business, um, quite inspiring. But there you go. Um, yeah, true crime story time is back. So, if you have any suggestions, please do leave it in the comments section. Um, and I, I will get to researching and looking up these things. I am going to um, cover some British uh, killers. Yeah, so on the next episode, we'll will come home and cover some of those but yeah um thank you so much for joining me i really do appreciate it i know you've missed me i'm sorry i kept you waiting so long but i'm here i'm i'm back in the game and uh yeah let me know what you thought of uh today's story in the comment section and I will see you very, very soon, my lovely fanatics who have been begging for my true crime to come back. Stay safe out there. Bye. It's been too long since I said that.